Hello from Teen Yet Dragon. This is Ji Sifu and of course Mark Chosi on YouTube. Today just want to kind of do a little change of taste of playing Western concert flute with Asian style music as an opening. Pretty cool, right? <clears throat> so this lecture is going to be a little shorter than usual. Um, one reason is because the camera is out of battery, but the second reason is just to trying to let you guys feel and tell me if you like the shorter version of the lecture or the um, longer version. So we'll, we'll try to like do short, long, short, long. And so you can choose and um, basically just leave your comment and tell me which what kind of length you guys like you know about the lectures so we can sort of work out a little nice uh middle ground for everyone and see how we can go about it okay so let's get into the meat today so <clears throat> today's lecture is how uh it's about <laughs> how do we um deal with spiritual um or energy or spiritual problems with our everyday life as you know someone who practices magic you know um like do you need to see spirits to know that there is a wow ghost you know uh, or or um uh, something pops out from the cabinet and you're ah oh, you know scary stuff happened the black shadow all that stuff actually in reality it's not that scary but it is harmful if you don't deal with these issues properly now let me talk about some real um, examples real situation where you really have to use magic to deal with the stuff um so we're, we're talking about magic as in our magic okay the magic that we teach in our lineage <clears throat> so there are a lot of different things you can use the magic for now first thing is you need to know that not everyone uh, most of you guys, most people are not born spiritually enabled or not not very like not disabled, but not very spiritually strong. As you grow up, your spiritual ability or your energy sensing ability start to deteriorate, while your physical ability goes up and um, improve or developed. So the more physical you develop yourself, the less um, spiritual or the less uh, energy sensing you are or the less sensitive you are to the spiritual world. That is why most people when you start to grow up and you become uh, an adult, you're less and less attached to spiritual stuff or the energy sensing stuff and some people are even numb about it they cannot even feel anything and then up to a certain point when people get old they are interested in these things again because they can feel the impact again they can because their body the physical body gets weaker and they can some some of them will have experiences uh with spiritual matters or energy matters and whatever and they want to seek like naturally their subconscious will um, make them want to seek for knowledge or seek for help or seek for whatever to develop that side of them. So no matter what culture you are in, what religion you're in, it's almost the same kind of pattern. The older you get, the more you want to get into these things to get yourself more beefed up uh, or, or prepared or whatever to face these problems. When we are getting, uh, like from, from kids, to uh, teenagers or to uh, mid-age, whatever, 30-something years old, that kind of range, you are more more and more inclined to the physical um, side, okay? You want to, you know, build muscles, you want to run, you want to do all uh, the physical stuff. So that's basically a common pattern with people. Not saying that it have to be like that all the time, but it just happen to be the, the norm of human being okay so um yeah so how do you <laughs> use magic for your daily life and why do you need it well most people who are watching my channel i am guessing you guys are like 30 ish 40 ish uh something like that i'm 30 ish so i think you guys are about the same you know usually people who contact me are older than me too but anyway um so yeah why do you want to 
uh, really dig into these things. How practical is this? Okay, first of all, have you ever uh, encountered a case? Just checking my camera. <laughs> have you ever encountered a case where um, you went into, like say, you went into a friend's house or you went into an office and then all of a sudden you feel that shoot, like shot of headache just bang in out of nowhere. Uh, you don't know why you got a headache, but just something like shot into your head and you feel the head is expanding. Okay, it's not like the kind of headache you get from flu or cold or something like that. It's expanding, um, makes you feel like your head is it's growing bigger kind of thing. And then you just sort of have this weird feeling inside that you don't know what is wrong, but you just feel everywhere is kind of dimmed down, like the lights around, if you look around your house, you feel that, like the, the, the lights are the same, they're supposed to be bright and nice, but somehow you just feel that it's kind of dimmed down a tiny bit, okay? It just feel that the haze of whatever is around, you know, you feel the whole thing is covered with like a polarizer, okay, like a lens. It just, everything is kind of dimmed down a little bit. You don't know why. You feel the place is more, a uh, tiny bit subtly more, checking my camera again, don't know why, okay? <laughs> um, so yeah, you just feel like a little uh, different, you know, the place, the atmosphere, it just kind of, somehow it just sunken down a little bit by a little notch. You don't know why, okay? But you have this headache or you have this head expansion thing, okay? Now this is actually something you can deal with using magic. What this is, usually, not all the time, okay? But you can, at least if you have the magic power, you can do something about it and then instantly know, is this a spiritual problem or is not a spiritual problem, okay? So when we talk about spiritual problem, um, first of all, excuse my English because I am not good at English, so maybe it's not called spiritual problem. But, you know, just trying to bring out the point, okay? You guys can tell me what's the best word to use in English. But anyway, the spiritual problem that I'm talking about doesn't really have to be like a spirit walking around or some, uh, like haunting you, you know? It doesn't have to be like that. It, it can be energies, negative energies that is built up and uh, stuck in that place and not moving around, not, not circulating well. And because of that, or maybe it can be your friend who just went to somewhere dirty. I mean, like not physically dirty, but uh, energetically dirty, like uh, hang out with some friends who are very polluted energetically uh, or whatever. And they just picked up the stuff and it went and soaked into their house. And when you go to their house or their office or whatever, uh, you can feel or sense the impact from those energy. And because of that, okay, you feel all these things. And by knowing the magic that we use in our lineage, um, we can instantly execute some magic to pop all that dust, the energy dust, the energy, whatever you call that, the pollution, whatever. Uh, you can pop it out. So you basically, what you're doing is you use your magic power, the, the energy within yourself, and you expand it out and clears uh, the area around you and then put a seal around it. So it's sort of like saying, okay, when there are cold temperature outside, okay? When you just go out like that, you feel super cold and shivering like this, okay? A nice metaphor is like this, okay? You want to pump up by doing this motion and then you get yourself very hot, very hot. Now the blood inside your body, it's, it's uh, working, right? So your energy from the, this is getting exhausting. <laughs> But the energy inside your, uh, your, your body will oh, cool, calm down. <laughs> the energy inside your body is actually pumping up. And then the cold energy is going to be squeezed out of your pore. Like, pssst, and you feel that the, um, the coldness is now not getting in. Because your body, the heat is coming out. 
Okay, so this is one good example of how it happens with your physical body. Now, with your spiritual body, your your energy, the the um, supernatural side of you. Okay, whatever you call that. Okay, the other dimension uh, of you, the body that the other stuff uh, sees you as, and not what you see you yourself as. Okay, that that side of you is actually um, almost like that. But when we are born, we lost the, we don't have the ability to control that side of us much. Because when you develop the physical side, your spiritual side will be going downhill. <laughs> so as your uh, body keeps developing, you, you really do not have the power or the ability to control that side of you. By learning magic, you can have the power from our lineage. Okay guys, so as uh, usual, the camera got cut because the battery went out. Wow, <laughs> I really need to get more batteries. <laughs> but anyway, um, so uh, continue from the lecture. So um, basically by doing the magic in our lineage, you have the power, the, the, the magic power from our lineage that is being inherited to you, which helps you and teach you how to um, do the magic methods. The methods will allow you to use the power to um, that you have cultivated in, into yourself, use that power to do this spiritually and go whoosh, so that all those negative, whatever, uh, not good, bad energy will just go whoosh out. And by doing that instantly, you can feel the changes right away. You can feel the uh, head, the head expansion mode will instantly get relieved. If that happens, you will instantly know that this is a problem that needs to be fixed by energy or spiritual method, whatever, magical method. Okay, so because of that, you can prove to yourself by doing that and know what's going on. If that is your own house, not your friend's house, then it's even better because now you know that your house needs to be worked on. You need to kick out everything and reset the energy flow of your house. Now that is one very practical example of um, magic usage in daily life. And another example of, just, just have to keep it short, okay? I don't want the camera to go boom. So, <laughs> so um, okay, just to keep it short. The, uh, another example is not all, this thing doesn't only happen when you um, have friends over or when you go to your friend's house. It can even happen when you talk to people by the phone or by email. Any kind of contact, um, real-time contact or message contact, anything like that. Because there are thought and intention uh, energy that is infused or transmit over, like if it's a uh, SMS message, right? Voice message, something like that. It is still their intention or the whatever you call that, the, the energy from the brain is infused to the message. When you read the message, you don't only see the physical part, you also feel the intention of this. And because of that, there is one dimension that transfer these energy over. It's like a bridge. So sometimes after you read a text message, doesn't matter what that message is about, instantly you have a feeling. You have a, whatever you call that, like an impression or a feeling, something, atmosphere just grew from the inside of your heart. You just feel that. And sometimes when you talk to someone, you feel very good that day, but after just talking to this person, they're just talking about normal stuff, but somehow you just feel like very bad, very gloomy, uh, no motivation to do stuff, stuff like that. Sometimes it's like this, okay? It doesn't have to be exactly the content that they're talking about or the tone they're talking in. It's just the feeling. It's just a feeling that you cannot explain. Why 
whenever I talk to this person, even I'm just talking about like the TV shows or something like that, and then somehow I just feel gloomy, I feel moody. Um, after talking to this person, I just always, you know, get in a fight with my daughter, with my uh, wife, whatever. It's just, you know, something you cannot explain, right? Now, with magic that we do, you can instantly feel that, do your stuff, clear it out, and then see if the thing is gone. If it's gone, you know what it is. But this kind of thing, you cannot take medicine to cure. You cannot, whatever, you cannot do other things to override it. It just sticks around for a while and then it will be gone. And the, the most scary thing is when it's gone, it's not gone. The stuff is just soaked into you so that it, it's already past your senses. It went into the deep side of you and it's going to affect you uh, in an other way that is uh, deeper uh, and more subtle. For example, it will affect the um, your work later on, your um, your whatever you call that, luck or whatever. It's not really luck, but it's more like how your future is, the opportunities uh, is like whatever, like that. Okay, it just affects you in an other way that is more subtle because it's just soaked in and absorbed into your life. While uh, rather than being outside and on the surface and being felt by your senses. So if you are sensing these stuff and you don't have a method to deal with it, the only thing you can do is live with it and then be affected by it and suffer the stuff later on. Sometimes it's not very suffering because it's kind of natural for people to be affected by these things already. So you don't really feel a... Uh, like you are being affected because you're used to it. But when you have the magic, you will know how often you sense these things. I mean, seriously, if you always talk to people on the phone and stuff, you will definitely feel a few friends are like that. And they give you that kind of stuff. And when you have the magic, instantly you do stuff and the things are gone. Wow, imagine how much uh, help you will have from doing these magic how much stuff you have cleared out in one or two years it's amazing and by doing that you instantly feel the relief um, the good side is you can avoid a lot of problems to come that is uh, unpredictable before but now you can sense it and that's why you can really see what these are and how it's caused and you can scientifically Prove it to yourself that these are whatever problem and fix it yourself before it kicks, uh, it, it's soaked into your life. But without the magic power, without the magic method, you cannot do anything about it. You cannot even sense it. So uh, sometimes you sense it, but it's not all the time. But when, you're, when you practice magic, you can sense it more often and easier because you have the ability to do so. So it's just crazy practical. It's... It, Insane, like how many people are being affected by these kind of pollution. It's amazingly practical. So basically, that's it for this lecture. I'm trying to keep it short uh, to save my battery's life. <laughs> so hope you guys like it. Uh, remember to comment below if you have questions or a suggestion. And share the videos out, guys. Share it out. Uh, subscribe and like. Bye-bye.